What I find really fascinating about your philanthropy is that you give to encourage other people also to give back to Yale. And we've talked in this series with philanthropists who give to build schools or to um, foment like civil rights movements, but your giving is different in that special way. So what are some methods that you've used to try to have people to give back to Yale? And what are some difficulties you've encountered in that? Well, let me parse it a little bit because we, one of the things that I think about when I was first asked to participate was, this is a way I can give back because at the time I didn't have a lot of money, but I can give my time and talent to help the, at that time it was the local Yale Club. Um, um, so I think that in a way it's easy for me to get people to, it's easier to give, ask people to give time and talent than money. I find it easier and it's, it's usually easier to get a response. Um, so what we'll do with, the, with Yale Women as an example or even the AYA is to try to get people involved, as I was talking about before, with something that they're passionate about. Say, this is an opportunity for you to, A, come back and meet other Yaleys, to get in, engaged in that way, to get intellectual stimulation when you come back to campus, to revisit your college experience. I mean, that's sort of a, a hook that seems very selfish. Um, but in the process, you become involved in an organization that actually leads to some of the other things that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I mean, wh you know, things that are happening in the alumni world through um, the support of the AYA and I hope will happen with Yale Women, are, are building schools, helping you know, in education, in, in the arts, in you, know, you name it, that somebody's interested in doing, we, we can help generate um, those activities through bringing Yaleys together. Um, uh, I think the biggest challenge is really getting the word out about it, is making people understand. There's, a, there's some famous stories about, um, I won't go into the details, but when, Alums get communication from Yale, most of them assume they're being asked for money. And we don't ask for money. We ask for time and talent. We ask for ideas. I think the hardest challenge is to get the alumni world to understand that that's what we're there for, is to create relationships and to, um, to help connect them back to the university. Right. So on the topic of creating these relationships, what are some examples of successful programming that help to maintain these communities outside of Yale for people who may have been in different class years they've never met before. How does that factor into maintaining and gluing these communities together? Well, the one that comes to mind quickest is the Yale Service Corps. Okay. One of our initiatives in the last five years was to have this Yale Service Corps, which now has its own sort of sub-board of the AYA, um, who started out with a project going to the Dominican Republic over spring break four years ago, maybe, um, to partner with an organization down there to work in, in, a, in the community. Um, and what's fascinating about that is there was an email sent out from Yale to ask people to go on the trip. It had the word service in the subject line. And I cannot tell you how many people, I think about 100 people went on the trip, but a huge percentage of them had never done anything in connection with Yale before. And some of these were people who graduated in the 60s. And they, were, they, said they only opened the email because they saw the word service. And they mm -hmm. thought it was such a great idea to go with other Yaleys and some of, their, you know, some of them took families to the Dominican Republic to do this service project that, that they joined up. And they have since, a lot of them have since become very, very involved and we've had many, many trips since then. But I think, again, it's broadening the way you think about um, how alumni interact with each other and the world. There are a lot of universities who don't get this. They say, well, why would I want to partner with Habitat for Humanity and bring my XYZ college alums to do that? What do I get out of it? And our question is not, what do I get out of it? It's, it's um, what can I bring to it? And, and it's a hard question. I mean, is there such a thing as altruism? You know, it, it, you know I, get, I get a lot out of this. I almost feel guilty because I, I do this because I enjoy it so much. And I get to meet fabulous people like Maxim and, and, and interact with students. Um, but I think there's something, something beyond that that just, but you, you, you try to, we've appealed to that and brought into the, AYA fold actively people who didn't have time for it before or didn't think they cared.